Hi everyone, welcome back to Cute Nerdy DIY. Today's shout out and giveaway winner is Marissa Hernandez, so well done Marissa. There will be more giveaways in the future, but thank you to everyone who entered. I love you all, so let's get on with the video. Today's video is another squishy makeover, which are my favourite types of videos to do, so I'm really glad to be doing this one. And I'm excited about this one in particular, because this is kind of one of the biggest ones I've done. So as you can see, this is quite a squishy little thing. I don't really know what it is, I'm guessing it's just some kind of little marshmallow man with a little ice cream head. But as you can see, there's a few like little nips and tears in it and the paint isn't really the best. Also, there's not a lot really going on on it and it's kind of quite plain. So the first thing I needed to do was kind of start to pick at all the bits that were kind of sticking up, just so that they didn't kind of get in the way when I was painting the rest of it. And then the next step, I decided to use my sandpaper because I'm now home. And I basically sanded this like crazy for about 5 to 10 minutes just to try and get the surface to be a bit more rough. So the first step of this makeover was to draw on what I needed to cut out. So the design for this I needed to do a bit of modifying to change the actual kind of cone. Now as you see in the thumbnail, this is actually a Harry Potter makeover and I've not done one of these before but as I've grown up with Harry Potter this is something I've really wanted to do and I probably will do more in the future because I know quite a lot of you really like it as well. But as you can see I'm basically just painting, well not painting, drawing on a few rough lines because I'm going to be cutting this out you can use whatever type of pen that you like and then the next step is to basically start to cut. So what I was basically trying to achieve here is to change the ice cream into the sorting hat from Harry Potter. Now for those of you who know what this is meant to look like, it's kind of got a face on the front but it's still kind of made of the hat material and then it's also quite rough so I just kind of chopped into it a bit, made it look a bit more random and I made the little kind of brim around the edge. So once this was done, I used my usual mixture of acrylic paint, PVA glue and shaving foam and basically coated this in a white paint. Now as always it's important to do this in quite a thick layer to make sure that you cover it up because now we're working on a rougher surface than before. But the way you do this is using either a lollipop stick or you can use a brush, it's up to you. The lollipop stick does help a bit to get the paint to kind of sit on top more and not soak in as much. So once I covered this, I stood it in an egg cup to dry. And then after this had dried, I did the same to the body. Again, for the next step, I mixed together a mixture of brown paint. Now, this was more expensive paint and it does tend to work better, but you can use whatever paint you like. But I mixed this all together to try and get the brown colour of the sorting hat and added some black to make it a bit darker. Once I got the colour to the closest brown that I could, I then started to paint that on top as well. As always, remember to take your time with this, you don't need to rush it, and it's actually quite therapeutic. Now I know what a lot of you are probably going to say about this, and what you're probably going to say it looks like, because yes, it does kind of resemble a poop emoji, 
Um, so if you want to imagine it as that, then you can, but it is meant to be the sorting hat from Harry Potter. I think it just looks a little bit similar to the poop emoji, but oh well. <laughs> So I left that to dry for probably a few hours, I think I did another coat as well and then the next step was I wanted to add some texture to it. So I used some spare memory foam that I had and made a lighter mixture of brown and started to dab it on. Now the sorting hat is kind of a really old leather type suede, I guess it kind of is like a mixture of leather and suede, so I wanted to create like quite a dirty looking old kind of aged hat I guess so I thought that this might be the best method to kind of achieve that. So once that had dried I created a little flesh mixture and I painted the rest of the marshmallowy ice cream man and left that to dry as well. I think I did two layers on that. But the next step after this was to paint on the hair. So as you probably saw in the thumbnail I am actually creating Harry Potter. So luckily this little bit of kind of, I guess it was like dripping ice cream actually works quite well as his fringe so I created another mixture and made it a little bit more dark than the hat because I think Harry's hair is kind of very 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 dark brown and I basically covered up the drippy bit to make it look like a fringe. Once I'd done this I went around the rest of the head and I just put some little bits of hair in and the next step was to draw on roughly the details of the body. So you can't really see this in this clip but I just used a little pencil and then the idea was to kind of roughly follow that when I started to paint on the details. So as you can see I've made little mixtures of PVA glue and acrylic paint so when you're doing the details it doesn't matter as much about making the mixture as puffy. I've found out that if you just use PVA glue and acrylic paint it makes the paint more flexible so you can get away with just using this. But all I'm doing here is painting, I think it's a solid black and I'm doing this to put Harry's cloak on. So I had to let this mixture dry because obviously it's black and if that spills into the rest of the paint then it can make it really messy but once that had done I basically started to paint the little emblem on the front and I started to do Harry's signature Gryffindor scar. So I made this mixture a tiny bit darker because it's kind of a golden yellow for the Gryffindor colours and then I made the paint a bit darker by mixing some black in with the red and this was to make the kind of burgundy colour for the Gryffindor scarf. So I also drew some little boots on and did them in brown and then I did his little white t-shirt underneath. So the main bit to do then was to draw his scar on and I did this in a kind of gold colour because I wanted it to stand out. Harry Potter has come to Hogwarts. And then the final step was to draw on his face. So I went back to my normal method here of using my permanent markers instead of the sharpie because the end was just way too thick. Then I painted on some little eyebrows that I'd forgotten. Next the mouth. And finally his glasses. So 
So this is one of my favourite ones I've done because I think it turned out really well. I was quite worried about doing all the little details. He does have very wide glasses which looks a bit strange but I think it just makes him look really cute. As you can see he still squishes really well. I do need to add a few little pinpricks into this because it is so so slow rising at the moment. But overall this was a really really fun one to do. I absolutely loved shaping like the little ice cream cone. I haven't done a lot of shaping before. It's something that I've started doing more regularly and it's really fun and it does actually kind of open doors to what you can do regarding makeovers. So it's definitely worth braving just getting the scissors out and giving it a little chop. As you can see the sorting hat turned out really well with the little pointy bit on the top and I really like the texture. I think the scarf is probably one of my favourite bits but I've grown up with Harry Potter so this is really kind of a special little squishy to make and like I said I'll definitely make more of these. But yeah, thank you so so much for watching, I really really appreciate everything, if you liked the video remember to subscribe and remember to be kind, stay lovely and I will see you in the next video.